resources evolved in North America millions of years ago. They were a global success story, spreading edge right across the world. Some even made it to Africa, where they became zebras. But as the Ice Age ended, horses suffered badly. They died out completely in their ancestral home, becoming extinct in America. But in Europe and Asia, they survived. Horses are amongst a few species of large animals which survived beyond the Ice Age by teaming up with people. Unfortunately, during centuries we lost some members of the family, like the Yukagir horse, which used to live in the eastern Siberia. In 2018, scientists in Yakutia found the fossilized remains of a baby horse belonging to this subspecies. This is the first find in the world of a prehistoric horse of such a young age and with such an amazing level of preservation. Even its internal organs were preserved by the permafrost. This species is genetically distinct from those now living in the region. That's why scientists from Russia and South Korea are exploring the possibility of extracting living cells from the preserved horse, which could be used to create a clone. In order to do so, Scientists need to find one life cell, but it's kind of unlucky, because with the technology we possess, cloning is possible only when the original animal's DNA is intact, and usually is degraded into ten of millions of pieces. I personally hope one day to see these beautiful creatures gallop again across their land like they used to do in the Ice Age. Unlike living crocodilians, Pacasucus had distinctive heterodont teeth that varied in shape throughout its jaws. 